2 horsepower Brown and Sharp 6 to 18 MicroMaster. Um, as you can see, there's some stuff sitting over here. These right here are the spindle bearings out of the spindle. When it came in, uh, they didn't sound that great. As you can see, the bearings are all dried up. So there is four brand new bearings in there. Um, I don't know where the fourth bearing went, but these are the bearings out of the spindle. There is new dry belts for the spindle. This is a uh, belt driven off the motor to the spindle. Um, these ones don't look bad, but the problem is when they get old, they don't want to stretch anymore. Uh, so therefore, you can't properly tension the belts and then the, the spindle slips. Um, this here is a new table belt for the table. Um, it had a crack in it, as you can see. Actually, it ripped. So we also put a new uh, table belt in it. So this machine is in excellent condition. The hydraulic oil in this unit did not get changed because the oil that's in it is really, really clean. Um, if you come over here, we'll open up, we'll show you the electric cabinet real quick. You see the electric cabinet's nice and clean. Uh, this right here, this is the book for the electromagnetic chuck and the neurofire control. If you look over here, <clears throat> it comes with a, a truck key to take the to change grinding wheels. This is a copy of the manual. Here's a brochure, we had an extra one. Uh, excellent copy of the manual, as you can see. So if you need any parts or you need any explanations on how the machine runs, it's all in here. This is a test grind I did earlier. As you can see, it does a really nice job grinding. It's a little rippled and the only reason why is because this is a very, very hard wheel that I put on here. Um, so you are getting a brand new wheel with it, it is a hard wheel. Um, and that is the only grinding wheel that this unit does come with. Now this grinder has a few options on it. It has rapid, the head back and forth. It has a true feature so you can uh, true the grinding wheel. You would put your dresser up on top right here and you would true the wheel forward by moving this lever forward. Once you get past the uh, grinding uh, stone, then you go to reverse and you true it backwards. Uh, if you look down here, I marked it, all the way to your right is this is your rapid, this is your normal grind, so as your table goes left to right, your head will feed in, and over here this is true, and uh, we will be demonstrating all of these features today. Um, I have it marked over here also, this is neutral, this is the Y for the head to come in and out, and then this is, I'm <clears throat> and then this is X for the table to go back and forth. Over here is your stop button, and then this is your on button. So this up here, this is for your electromagnetic chuck. This, as you can hear, it's actuating inside. That turns the chuck on, which it's on right now. You can turn it off. Now it's off. Right here, now we're gonna turn the spindle on. Now, when you first start this unit up for the day, what you need to do is you need to come over here and put this in rapid, but you gotta bleed the air out of the system because when hydraulics sit, they bleed down. Over here, this is your throttle control for your hydraulics. So make sure you're neutral. Uh, hydraulics are active. You can see it was a little slow and now it's coming. Come all the way forward. So you bleed all the air out and you go all the way backwards. I'll show you guys the true feature. You come over here and you bring this switch all the way to the left, the true. You will see. It's slowly coming forward. This is the true up your stone. Neutral, reverse, and you choose the reverse also. Your normal grind. 
Now, when we move this, the table is going to start. Get it going, let all the air get out of the cylinder. Now, if you want it to feed forward when you're grinding, you can see the heads coming in. Neutral makes the head stop from indexing. Now it will index backwards when you put the lever forward. This is, like I said, this is your throttle so you can speed it up. And slow it down. That's pretty much the slowest speed right there. It'll go a little slower if you play with it. Now it'll come back over here. <clears throat> Leave yourself in grind when you just want to use it manually. This hand will move your table left. This moves your table to the right. This moves your head back. This moves your head forward. This moves your head up and down. You see this brings it up. This brings it down. Move it up for a second. I'm going to do a little test grind to show you guys that it does grind nice. Put your magnet on. Check your part. This also has the fine feed option. If you tighten this binder right here, now your fine feed works. This right here, your, your dials also move. Turn this to lock it down. Same thing with this one. This locks your dial down. This is for your fine feed. Get it real close. Spindle does not stall, we're taking a pretty heavy cut. This unit does not come with any coolant setup. Uh, you could add coolant to this, but when this came in, it had no coolant with it. This knob over here, this controls how fast your head indexes in and out when you're feeding. To the right will slow it down, to the left will make your feed greater. So we'll speed this up quite a bit, just to show you guys. See, it's really feeding in now. You 
can see I'm slowing it down. And if you change your rate on this, you have to move the valve quite a bit either direction to change your rate of your index. Speed it back up. Now if you walk over here and you look, you see this bolt hanging out. If you tighten this bolt in all the way, and you actually take an Allen key and tighten up just a little bit, it locks out your throttle for your hydraulics. So you can either set it at one speed or you can lock it out so it's not used at all. Um, as you loosen up these Allen screws right here, these move your, uh, your stop dog so you can control how much stroke you have on the table. You come over here to this side, you have a little access compartment. This right here, this is the hydraulic filter that's in here and your hydraulic fluid. Um, this, these right here are your side glasses for your hydraulic oil to make sure that you have enough in it. Uh, when you do purchase this machine, always make sure that it's full because it's going to come almost drained because when it's shipping, we can't have the oil uh, leaking out on the, ship, on the shipping truck. You come back here and you take this guard off, this will access your motor and your belts. Um, the lube system is also inside here. Everything works great. Everything lubes properly. You also have a plug here if you'd like to put it on a work light. This light over here tells you that the Neurofire is on, but the mag is not on. This just shows you that there's power coming to the cabinet. When you turn this off, it's blinking. And when it's done blinking, and you hear the servo motor stop running, that's when the magnet's turned off. And this here is your different uh, variable setting for how strong you want the magnet to pull down. This is our Brown and Sharp 618 MicroMaster.